Well, it's been an exciting day with all the announcements around Copilot, and I wanted to spend some time quickly looking at some of the announcements specifically about Copilot and Microsoft Loop. Now, I've been given some of the, the videos, so I'm able to slow down and take a look at some of the things that have been um, announced in the blog post and shared as some of those capabilities. I'm going to run through this timeline, and I'll just talk a little about what we see, because sometimes these buzz videos, they're like, there's so much going on that we've got to slow down and talk about it. So, uh, first of all, let's uh, take a look at, um, this is all about creating a table and sharing in the loop. And so the role of Copilot here is a number of things, to be able to try and create content, to summarize, and to, uh, to help our team members catch up and work together. So it's simplifying that role. Here we are creating some content and a table. So this is a, um, a summary page of a product about some e-bikes. And the idea here is that um, with the forward slash, Copilot, it's available there in the blocks list, and you trigger it off to create some page content. So give it a prompt. The prompt is create a table uh, for a workback schedule for the meeting for our product criteria. So it's going to use the content on the page to create this table, this workback schedule. And we generate that, and what happens here is we've got Copilot that opens in a sidebar. So it's nice over there, it's convenient, the content's over here on the right, and it's generating that content. Um, as it finishes generating, it's come up with a table, let's look through and found some tasks, some possible durations, maybe some dates that could be uh, possible for delivery. Now, the thing about Copilot is within the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, as you might have heard today, uh, even within Copilot, it has access to your email, to your calendar, uh, to um, meetings and the like. So it's going to get some of these signals about availability, time, durations from all of those different um, sources. And it will look across the perhaps the team that has access to uh, this workspace and people that are mentioned. So that's where it's coming up with those durations, I believe. As we look through, um, we have, if you have a closer look here in the um, column, we've got, I had asked to create a table, but someone is co-authoring here with me. And if we take a look too at the people who are on the page and working with me to create content, um, they're also, some of them are beginning to use the co-pilot um, along with me. So we're co-authoring with co-pilot. Um, giving it prompts and adding content to the page. So as we continue along, we've got content that's appeared. Uh, it has added status labels. And as we uh, take a look at that, maybe I just want to adjust that status label. And so I begin to add a new status called complete. Now it's not a label that's available in the list, so I have the option to add that to the, the list of possible labels. And I can add that. Same thing with in progress. And then I'm ending the co-pilot session and we've got the content here ready to share. So what do we do to share in a loop? Of course, we select the content. So we're using the three dots um, as a way of selecting that whole block uh, or um, area on the page. And then we choose to create a new component. So this, as a new component, it, it creates it as a piece of content that we can now copy the link jump over to a Teams chat, and we can paste it in there. Now, what's something new here, and I don't know if this is just the the render about what's possible, whether it will be possible, but up until now, we've had to have a clear box, and we just send the component. We can't usually type text in there alongside it, but maybe this is something new that's, that's coming in experience. Um, so that's it. We send that off um, and it is available there to start co-authoring. We've created some content and a table to summarize things. And there are already people that are in there and working on that table content together, all live. So what's the next experience? We've got, um, this is a page summary and analysis. Now this is really helpful for teams that want to try and pull together what is what is this page talking about and let's try and pull some analysis together about that content. Again, we're talking about e-bikes, and this is about the specifications of the e-bike. So if we just go past here, we can see that it's got all things like performance, and there's tables, and there's bullet points, and prices, 
all of those sorts of cues that Copilot is going to use to try and pull together some analysis on the page. So I think it's going to be quite important to have a page that has content that's formatted this way. If it's just a big block of text, maybe Copilot might find it a bit harder to make these summaries. But by having headings, bullet points, bolded text, we're sending all kinds of signals uh, to Copilot to be able to use and make that summary. So top of the page, forward slash. Uh, again, we're, we're using a different part of Copilot this time to summarize the page. Um, it is going to, as we see, the sidebar opens up, but it's already creating the page summary. It's putting those bullet points um, there as a way of, in this page, you're going to see this. And so that's the point of it, to be able to have a quick glance and then decide whether you want to read the rest of the content. So that was, that was the page summary, pretty simple. Uh, and let's look a bit further along. We'll go a bit further down the page, and this is where we're going to, what are we doing here? We're going to create a list of questions because maybe in this content there are some things that are still some unknowns and we might need to investigate. So this is all about, again, a way of creating content. Uh, and this time the co-pilot prompt is in the text. It's not the sidebar. Uh, I don't know whether it's going to be a mixed experience in that sense, but it will be, as we see here, it could be on the sidebar, it could be in the text itself in line. We've got, actually we'll just back up a bit here, we've got a few buttons that you might have seen in other videos before. We can create content, which is what we're doing now, brainstorm, blueprint, and describe. Uh, we don't see the other three buttons here today, but keep an eye out for what is coming in that space. Um, going to be quite exciting. So creating. We're given a create prompt. Uh, what are the open questions on this page? So we create that. Again, it's going to generate that. We can see that uh, list of who is prompted things within Copilot, and it's come up with a list of questions, numbered questions, because we do want to be able to refer to what those questions are. Let's give us a bit more space along here. So um, let's do a bit more to this. These questions are great, but maybe there are some answers that we already have for these questions. So this is provide insights for the following questions, and we'll see what Copilot comes up with. So it will expand on this, it has some bullet points, and it's going to find those answers, and maybe the answers are on the page, uh, but because Copilot, Microsoft 365 Copilot, is that bigger ecosystem, it could be getting these answers from the rest of our organization, content that we've been writing in our teams, and products that we've been working on. So it is coming back with insights to answer the questions on the page. And you see, just as a final point there, there's the activity. What's the activity in this session for Copilot? It was two um, prompts and things that happened. What's our third scenario? I'll just go along here and give a bit more room. We have got a write a recap. Re rewrite and recap. I hope I got that right. Yes, rewrite and recap. Okay. <laughs> so what's happening on the page? Same page. Now looking at the perspective of I'm a team member and I've helped to create content with a lot of other team members on this page. And so we've maybe I've contributed to some of the blocks of text here. Uh, so what I do, and Copilot looks again a little different here. We're looking at another possible option of how Copilot might appear in loop. But it knows because I'm hovering over or I've clicked into this section on the page that it is offering Copilot along on that sidebar to do something for me uh, related to this content. I haven't had to select it. So I click Copilot and trigger Copilot off. I'm going to ask it to refine the details, refine the details column and add bullets for each point. So yeah, the details column, it does look like blocks of text, but it's good to have bullet points as we just uh, want to understand some of those details. So it will do exactly that. I like the formatting. It's bolded up the text. What is that key point? What is the information about that point? And then on to the next bullet point. Uh, and you know, that's a great summary. You'll see that there's uh, also uh, the opportunity to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down about whether the AI got it. So that's part of our role in training some of the results. Further down the page, uh, same sort of deal. We're in another section. This is all about quality and testing. We're going to use Copilot to 
make this section more concise. Improve on the language or refine the content. And so doing this within Copilot, it is going to rewrite that content and uh, bullet point or rather number the content there. Right, so finally, I've rewritten some content on the page and I've helped to contribute with that. Um, I want to be able to let my team know what I've been working on. Now, they could see changes by uh, seeing some of the annotations, the uh, attributions when you hover over things in the page. But what we see uh, up here is an opportunity to write a recap. And as we open that up, other team members have done the same. So this is a nice way, especially as we're working asynchronously sometimes, to leave some notes behind to say, hey team, this is what I've been working on in this page and in this content. Now I can click the button and get Copilot to write that recap for me. And Copilot's going to search through the page and it's going to find the different places on this page where I've contributed content. It'll summarize it in bullet form. Uh, so that's good. And then we can turn this into an actual comment. So much like the comments on the page, uh, I can then right through here. I'm letting Daisy know by at mentioning her that these are some of the changes that I've made. And so that is almost like an ongoing conversation as well as something of an activity log with our team members. So I click post and uh, what, there it is on the, in, the, in the list of activity. What has Daisy seen? Well, Daisy gets a notification up here in loop and a recap so you can see some of the different types of notifications that we see there uh, and the recap is a new one that's been um, it's had some help from copilot to make that recap so then um, daisy can click on that and just jump straight through to where that recap is and see that it's from me and there we go so those are three experiences. I've definitely seen um, some really interesting things about how Copilot will help us work together as a team and seeing Loop as a place for creation and a place for coming up with thoughts and working together uh, that it's great to be able to sort, use our own content, our own um, products, our own documents, our own relationships, meetings and etc. to bring in and create this content and summarize it. So I'm sure more of these details are going to become uh, clearer as we see the product become available. Um, the Microsoft Loop chat and Loop component uh, content is going to be coming out, they said, 1st of November for the release of Copilot in general for Microsoft 365. Uh, so we may see some of these experiences be there at launch as part of this. Look, thanks for tuning in. I know this was quite a wrap up, but hopefully this has helped to explain some of the things that we're seeing in those really quick snazzy loop um, and buzz videos that are all there about Copilot as well. If you're interested in keeping up with some of these things and hearing some more analysis around what's happening in your modern workplace in Microsoft 365, then you know where to find me. You know what to do. <laughs> we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.